Do make sure that you grab the microphone from somebody. Okay, sounds good. Just because they are they are sometimes playing music. Oh, okay. Sometimes a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. No worries. Alright, ready? Sure. This is Jackie with In the Key of Change, and I'm here with the team at Lancaster's Launch Music Festival. Uh, let's jump right into it. Your music. Uh, describe the release home record. Ah, uh, well, home record uh, came out with 2012, right? Yeah, 2012. Uh, it's been a little bit now, but uh, yeah, it's just a, a bunch of tracks, pretty much the stuff that we we felt for the last uh, year or so before that. Just really kind of we had changed directions with what we were writing and. It, a little bit uh, that's kind of what we ended up getting. So, home record was the, uh, I guess, the rest of history. Yeah, that's pretty much what we put put out. So. <laughs> and you mentioned that came out in 2012. 2012. So, plans to release some new stuff. We just went to the studio. Not even a month or two ago. Uh, just recorded two songs. Uh, just get something going. Get something going. How would you and describe they your sound? Um, I guess uh, it's uh, more uh, kind of like it's hardcore, but it's a little bit uh, not not really traditional, more like rock and roll, thrashy kind of hardcore. Um, yeah, it's it's heavy hitting and uh, it's kind of where where we are. New stuff's a lot of thrash here, I would say. Yeah, circle pits and lots of headbanging. It's kind of like what we love to do. That's, I think you can feel that in all the things that we do in our, our music. So. And they also explain this more important in your live performance. I'm going to guess, just, just so they guess, that you don't actually have to ask your crowd for the circle pit, they just sit. Am I right? <laughs> pretty, yeah, usually, usually pretty right, yeah. There's not a whole lot of uh, asking involved. I mean, sometimes when we play, like, uh, Shows that are not traditionally the ones that are, you know, all kind of the same genre of music. But we play stuff that, you know, there's a couple of popular bands on the middle or other acts. Um, sometimes they don't know what to expect. I know a lot of times our stuff is, is, is thrashy enough where people kind of don't really know what to do. You know what I mean? Like, they kind of just stand there and they kind of... They yeah, like a late menace. Yeah, 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 like a late Seinfeld, like twitching and kicking and stuff. But, but it, it's, you know, it, it's, it it speaks for itself, you see it, so... That was a great fun that's yeah. a really great name for, for a hardcore band. Twitchy. Yeah, yeah. Little kicks. Little kicks and circle bits. So, who inspires you guys professionally? We have a lot of diversity between. Can you get in here, buddy? I think this guy here. Here's the talk. Who inspires you? Who inspires you? Excellent. I like all kinds of music. I think we all like all kinds of styles. I think what inspires us is pretty laid back and mellow guys. I mean, we get on stage and we like the rest all out. I think that there's there's definitely an expectation of what we are based on our personal lives and how we actually come off on stage. I know that personally for for me, uh, the most inspiring are bands that are like that are more at, at our level and you know a little bit above our level that are kind of doing what we're doing. Like you always have your influences music wise, but I think that the most inspiring thing is me is, is our peers really. I think the bands that we've toured with, the bands that we've played a lot of shows with, you know, it's more than anything. How does social media impact your career? <laughs> quite, deep side. Deep side. Quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, quite a bit. I mean, it's constantly changing. It's definitely not uh, as simple as it was with the days of MySpace. Uh, it's gotten a little bit uh, more chaotic. Yeah, what's that? Uh, no, if you want to know what that is. Um, but I think there's so many different avenues now that it's hard to tell what is actually impactful. So it's kind of like you really have to stay on, on the ball with what is... I, I guess the busy, just really. I mean, it's, it's Facebook. It, it was Facebook. It still kind of is, but I mean, the, the, it's constantly changing. You have to start paying more to reach the people that actually like you. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of confusion a lot of times with bands that are on there. You don't really know if there's another band that's even really named like you. It happens all the time, especially with us. Um, if you found the right band, 
but uh, I think it's Instagram right now. I would say more than anything, we we have the most uh, impact on Instagram, and it kind of bleeds through and everything else. So try to get on that a little bit more. Why do you think that is? Because Instagram is mostly visual. Now they've started to allow you to to show videos. Yeah. But for musicians, I wouldn't think that Instagram would yeah. be the biggest hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, really, I think it has, it has a lot to do. It has a lot to do with uh, like the hashtags and a lot of the, the stuff that's relevant to what you're looking for. You can search anything by a tag, you can search anything by bands you like, and if one person is a fan of one band and they like your band, it's like it all kind of follows suit. And on our page in particular, we have our Facebook right there, and I know that it's from from people that have seen our stuff on Instagram. It's directly influenced everything else. So who knows how much longer that's going to work or how long that's going to be? But I, you know, there's a lot of things you can search for on Instagram that just kind of work with promoting yourself, so I think that's important. As long as someone doesn't try to sell stuff on Instagram, I think we're, we're okay for now. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, you're not the first band that said, you know, on Facebook it was, it was good, and then they started charging for, for more reaches and more exposure, and that could be really good uh, So what do you guys hope to achieve uh, being here at launch this weekend? Especially our friends at you in, in Restless Street, since they were just down here, so we're going to hang out with them a little bit. But definitely be on a, a different kind of stage because we're used to doing more of uh, being on the ground level. You know, it's, it's a, I think this will be probably a bigger performance for us with, with people watching us. So, uh, yeah, we just want to have a good time. That's really what it's about for us. So, what's up next after lunch? Well, old? we got a short. We got going. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We have a. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have uh, we we did we just recorded two songs as Brad was sitting in the studio with uh, Atrium Audio. Um, they did our album. Or they did home records. So we're, we're really happy with the two tracks. Um, we're currently in the editing process of a video, so we're going to debut a video here shortly for our new single. And um, we're definitely hitting the road in June um, with a band called Young Graves. So we'll be out for, for a couple weeks there, and then we're going to do more in the summer. So still going to be doing that, pushing as hard as, as we can. Staying busy. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for more from the deep. This is Jackie with Indie Keep Change. Right. Thank you very much. And grab a picture of you guys real quick.